Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. I'm gonna do a real quick assembly video for you. The guys at Deadfoot Arms have sent over their uh, modified cycle system and T-Rex stock. We're gonna put it on this AR lower receiver. I've already taken the uh, buffer tube, buffer, buffer retainer and spring. All of that stuff has been removed. So it's ready to go. Just gotta be careful on that little spring. It's ready for the installation. Um, really like that strike fire grip, by the way. Um, okay, so let, let's get started here putting this together. Uh, in the kit, we have installation instructions. See right here, front and back, a lot of text, no pictures. So you actually have to read on this one. Set that back here for me. In the kit, we also have Here's the folding mechanism. Uh, let's see, I'll break that open. In the folding mechanism, you see the short buffer tube, and we have the plunger and end cap here as well. We'll get all these parts out. There we go. Here's a recoil spring. This is the uh, buffer spring. We've got the little tiny like a mini buffer sitting here and then the short bolt carrier group we've set that box aside the other box the T-Rex butt stock so here we go there are the parts we're going to work with since we have a shortened bolt carrier group we're not going to need that let's go ahead um, we don't need the chamber flag at the moment we'll, pick, we'll put the NF manufacturing DLC bolt carrier group over here with the Kinshot buffer and uh, get rid of those. Thank you, Criterion Barrels, for the chamber flag. If you don't use chamber flag, by the way, a uh, really good idea because when it's in, you know it's not loaded. All right, you can't have a chamber flag in around in the chamber, it just doesn't work. So uh, we really like those. Yeah. All right, so the short bolt carrier group is in. Let's move to the lower portion. Uh, the very first thing that we need to do is take the short buffer tube. We're gonna put this in the folding section. You'll see there's a little bump here that's gonna fit into that hole. Gotta be careful of that spring while we're doing this. So very first thing, I'm just gonna put it in here. And, uh, Get the thread started. There we go. And as we get closer, now I can be mindful of that spring and get things lined up here. That's straight. Tighten her down. The hardest part of this right here, making sure you don't get that spring bent over. That spring is part of the retainer for your app takedown pin, by the way. So you really don't want to lose that or the little retaining pin that's in there. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, all right, once that's in, let me just give it a little crank. All right, that is tightened down. All right, easy enough. Okay, quick tour of the parts here. Short and bolt carrier group. We've got a buffer spring, a little mini buffer. You'll notice this doesn't actually fit into the bolt carrier group. That little buffer will slide down in there a bit uh, as this buffer spring is compressed. Recoil spring slides inside the buffer, and then we put this guide rod on the end cap in the recoil spring. So it's all gonna fit together just like this. And we'll take the bolt carrier group with the uh, bolt fully extended install it in the upper receiver and that slid in and lock you know at this point let's go ahead and mate it to the lower receiver go. that rear takedown pin in that will work from the back and let's just drop this whole assembly in okay so now as i push the plunger in it's going to have some spring tension on it that, you see what I saw? This Gibbs side charging upper has this little uh, port at the back that has to be closed and I left it open. Yeah. 
little spring is now in the little mini buffer tube. Push this in, make sure it stays lined up. The plunger actually goes in that little buffer and tighten it so the, so the threads catch. And now I just can't tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, at this point, uh, that's hand tight. Let's see how she cycles. <laughs> Seems to cycle pretty good. Something I noticed as I put it together, I took this all straight out of the box and installed it. I didn't take any time to lube the bolt carrier group, and I think it may benefit from that. It felt a little stiff moving because it's brand new. So um, uh, probably before I shoot it, I'm gonna take this apart and lube that bolt carrier group, but ju just to be sure that it operates smoothly. Uh, so what's left now is installation of the butt stock. So for that, I'm gonna need the castle nut from the old butt stock. All right, so here's our castle nut. Always put these large uh, grooves in the castle nut towards the aft of the stock. And screw this all the way on and then and our stock in. Line up. We're lined up here. We get the vertical alignment of the butt stock to line up. So now we'll just crank it down a little with the wrench. It is lined up reasonably well vertically in the back. So there you have it. You want to move this out of the way. There's a, uh, a bar button here on the bottom. You depress it and allows the whole thing to slide out of the way. So there we go. Hold up to the right. So keep reaching for the button. I don't have to do any button to unlock it. It's got just a little bit of pressure holding it. So it won't flop around. It's going to stay in that forward position. Little pull brings it back. Push the button to let it go. It'll actually swing itself into place there. All right, so we're only extending to there. I'm going to have to do a little reading to see if that, if I can move it. Looks like that's just a screw, so I should be able to move that pin to be able to get it out further uh, from the back. But uh, let me read the directions on that. For the T Rex butt stock. This, you talk about a pretty cool little minimal, minimalist stock. Uh, I certainly like that for the minimalist aspect. Uh, you see some other parts over here. These we just took out. Uh, these are parts for our next build that we're getting ready to do. We're actually going to take this handguard that Unique AR has made for us. This is the custom Gear Report logoed uh, handguard. We really love that. The Whip Machine MRE, this is the Muzzle Rise Eliminator. That's going to go on the new build as well. And then we've got uh, the, the old Jacks that's going to go back on here. Um, and I'm not sure what we're going to put on the end of this. Uh, we've got a, a variety of muzzle brakes we can put on there so that this will be a complete upper. Uh, and some of those parts are moving over to the new one. Uh, we may put this True Glow 20 millimeter red dot on there as well. Uh, regardless, this is set up and ready to go, so I can take this to the range in the morning and see how the Dead Foot Arms LLC folding stock works. And remember, this is not just a folding stock. The whole idea here, why this is meaningful, is you can shoot it like this. And this is new in the AR-15 space to have a butt stock that can be folded forward and you've got enough of a little buffer here that you can actually shoot the weapon like this. So there are a lot of folders that you can fold it forward. You shoot it one time, but during that shot, it's gonna break something. This is designed so that you can shoot it full auto if you want to. You can put a lot of rounds through it while it's folded or fold it out, use it extended. Whatever makes you happy, that foot arms is there to uh, put a smile on your face whichever way you want to shoot it. Uh, Dead Foot Arms, Russ and Ted, thanks for sending this over. We're going to get out to the range with some video shooting it uh, likely tomorrow morning. We'll get that posted as well. We'll let you know how it goes. Check your report. We'll have a full written review of the Dead Foot Arms modified cycle system with the holding stock adapter and a T-Rex stock on your report shortly. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those things we love hearing from you. And check us out at gear-report.com.